Get a small team together of people, like-minded people, who are passionate about your film. You write from your heart and passion and instinct first and foremost. You're gonna tap into some universal stuff. Don't show guns. Comedy tells the truth, and specifically it tells the truth about people. There's a lot of talented people that never make it because they don't understand the business. You've made a movie and you want to get it distributed, but how do you do that? Relax. Linda Nelson is here with some great tips. This episode is brought to you by Glidecam Stabilizers. A Glidecam on your production means smooth, flowing shots with easy operation. Go to Glidecam.com to find out more. Linda Nelson is co-founder of Indie Rights. Welcome to the show, Linda. Hi, I'm uh, really uh, excited to be here to get a chance to talk to you today. Um, Indie Rights uh, is a, a distributor of a truly independent film. Uh, we've been in business for about uh, 10 years, and I think we were actually one of the first uh, independent uh, distributors uh, to work in the digital uh, realm only. Uh, most of the distributors out there uh, that have been in business for a long time were deeply embedded in the DVD home video market. Uh, so we have a very uh, different business model. Um, also, we, um, we started out as filmmakers and we started our company because we felt that there weren't enough really good opportunities for independent filmmakers to actually see some revenue from their films and be able to sustain themselves as artists. So uh, we're thinking now uh, that the market has uh, really matured quite a bit. Uh, even though it's not all the way digital yet, we've gotten to a point where we can really um, um, start to see that revenue for independent filmmakers because of digital, the digital revolution. So uh, it's a great time for independent filmmakers. Well, what advice would you give to someone who has an indie film and they'd like to get distribution? Well, uh, first of all, the most important uh, thing uh, to understand is that there are many, many platforms for individual uh, films these days. We have uh, big ones like Amazon and Google and uh, Netflix, and, and, and then there are a lot of uh, smaller ones that are quite good too. So the important thing is that people have different viewing habits. And so what you want to do, you want to make sure you get your film out to as many different um, digital platforms as you can because like for example I watch almost all my movies on Amazon someone else might watch all their movies on uh, Apple TV uh, and uh, there are a lot of filmmakers that watch their films on Vimeo so it is a global market out there now you're not just limited to the United States uh, we mo we have a library of about 300 films now and our films are available in, in the UK and Australia and uh, Canada, and now that we are going to the American film market, we're also making our films uh, available in um, over 100 countries. So it's, uh, it's a great time to be in the movie business. How important, um, you know, it seems everybody who's got a camera can make a movie. How important is it to make a good movie? I mean, I, I've seen bad movies distributed and good movies distributed. Can you talk uh, about that? Sure. Uh, quality matters. And that's a really, really important thing. And when we're looking at movies that we want to acquire, we look at a couple of different things. First of all, we want to make sure there's a good story there. Uh, second of all, we want to make sure there's really good acting. And uh, third, we want to make sure that, that there's really good production value. Um, it used to be that you, um, you know, production value was tough to attain because the equipment was expensive. Now, you can even, we even have films submitted to us uh, that were made on cell phones, to believe it or not. And, mm -hmm. and, but the point is that you should pay attention to lighting and to framing and to doing the best movie that you can. Quality does matter, and it, it actually matters even more now because there's so much more content being made. So many more people are making movies. So it takes the time to have a good story, find good actors, and keep your production value high, and then you're going to rise to the top. If somebody has a film um, and, and they don't know where to begin, how do you uh, search through all these different distributors and, and know which one to go with? Well, luckily, there's a really good way to do that these days. 
There is a platform called IMDb Pro. It's open to filmmakers all over the world. Uh, if you want, you can just do a trial subscription to it and then really just hunker down and do all your research quickly. Or we really actually think that everybody that's making films should be a permanent subscriber. It's about $15 a month, I think. And there you can find out who's distributing every movie. And what you want to do is it, it, you can research people that distribute movies like the one that you've made. And then what you want to do is before working with any distributor, you want to call and talk to the producer of at least five films that have used that distributor. And while they don't have to tell you how much money they've made, the important thing is that they, they, you ask them whether they get quarterly reports on time and that they are getting paid. That's the most important thing. You want to work with someone who you know is going to pay you. Uh, I don't, we don't recommend going with someone who's been in business for a very short period of time. There's a lot of new internet startups that they're in business for a year and then they're gone and then your rights are tied up with these companies so that can be dangerous. You want to make sure you deal with somebody who's been around for a little while and that you talk to these people uh, that have worked with them in the past. That homework is the most important thing that you can do when you're looking for a distributor. And what would you say to somebody who, you know, a lot of people make movies and they're like, I'm going to be rich. Uh, what's the case in that? And what do you think is a proper well, percentage or how does that work? Well, for example, our company, we actually pay filmmakers 80% of all of the revenue that they earn. But of all of those films that we have there in the marketplace, some of them earn five bucks a month, some of them earn 5,000 bucks a month. So the key is that that filmmakers today have to be willing to participate in the marketing of their films. They have to be willing to learn how to be part businessman, part filmmaker. And, and that is critical because you've got to be uh, willing to engage with your audience. And one of the things that we do as a distribution company that's kind of unusual is that we teach our filmmakers how to engage with their audience. And we have, because we have such a large group of filmmakers, we help each other, we teach each other, we're always learning new techniques, we're only always learning new marketing uh, ways to market our films. So that's really, really important. If you want to be successful, uh, you have to uh, be willing to learn uh, how to engage with your audience. And uh, if, you're, if you're willing to do that, willing to learn how to do that, uh, you can be successful with your film. And then the goal is to keep making films. And when you have enough films where you have several films that's throwing off money every month, then you're in a position where you can start to self-finance your own films and, and uh, really uh, make a living doing what you love. What's the best way to promote a film once you have distribution? I mean, everybody thinks Facebook and, and stuff like that, but are there better ways? Facebook is just one way. Uh, and the truth is of the matter is that Social media platforms work synergistically with each other. We recommend that, that our filmmakers are on four. That's Facebook, a YouTube channel, a Twitter account, and uh, an Instagram account. And by combining uh, all of those platforms together and cross-promoting on those different platforms, you have a better shot at reaching a wider audience. So that's our goal is to teach people how to use all four of those platforms. And I do believe social media is the best way to reach your audience these days. And as far as distribution, are, are movies still being um, distributed on DVD much anymore? I know some are, but yeah. is that kind of dying away? Well, it is kind of dying. But right now, um, from what we can discern, about 20% of people only watch their films digitally. Another 20% still only do DVD. They go and they either buy their DVDs online or they go to Walmart or Target and buy their DVDs. Uh, and then the rest are a combination of the two. And as that uh, combination of the two diminishes and more people are moving just to digital, we're going to see more and more from the digital realm and DVD will slowly taper off. Uh, I think there will always be some people that like physical media, just like there are some people that still like vinyl records right but it's a tiny percentage of the overall audience and uh, so we will will hit that it's probably going to be another five years before we're predominantly uh, digital uh, All right. so, uh, they are there are still DVDs out there
Well, thank you, Linda. And how can people get a hold of you directly? Uh, the best way to get in touch with us is to go to our website, which is indierights.com. Indie uh, you can search for us on, on Google. We're really easy to find. And there is a page on our website that says submit your film for distribution. And all the information about our company is there, and you can read all about us. All right, Linda, thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. The versatile, lightweight Glide Cam Stabilizer. A Glide Cam on your production means smooth, flowing video with easy operation. Glide Cam, the name and future of camera stabilizers.